It is Mon Sunday, the 14th of May, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to everybody there. My mother's back there somewhere. That's mommy. Yep, that's mommy. And uh, I'm on my way to church. And today is also the eve of my surgery. My beard's coming off, guys. <laughs> and he's going to be heading to church. Alright, it's time for us to get to church. And my sister's now playing her music. Hey, girl. Yeah, I spent Mother's Day here with my nephew. Who's getting crazy tall. He's tall. Ooh, donuts. Empty. Empty box of donuts. Empty box. Everybody, my niece wants to do a tutorial on cooking. Hold on, my lens is dirty. Much better. She wants to do a, a cooking tutorial. She's making us breakfast. Well, for her mom, who's right there, but she's probably not going to want to be on camera. She's in her hair wrap, she's in her onesie pajamas. So, Hola. this is my niece, Aaliyah. Hola. Never mind the hair, okay? She'll do a tutorial later. So, she's gonna be making some eggs. So, what's the first step? Well, once you've made the eggs and then you have to put it into the thing. You gotta put it in a thing? Okay, so you make the eggs and then you put it in a thing. Alright, you guys remember that. Put it in the thing. And then you just wanna mix it around. Then you wanna mix it around. Okay. Just flip it some. Separate a bit. Wow, you're doing it like a pro. And look at her technique. Yes. How she holds the the spatula. Mm -hmm. How she spit turns it. Guys, make, take notes. Make sure you do it exactly like this. Yes. Because this is how your eggs come out the way Aaliyah would do it. Yeah, and it has turkey in it. And it has turkey in it. If you look there, you see the turkey pieces. Right there. Okay. I'm anxious to taste what this is going to taste like. And my nephew Amani is doing exactly what he does best. Playing video games. I am my car by the way. You know me? Yeah. You got Wi-Fi in the car? Mm -hmm. The Wi-Fi code is in our armor if you need it. With the twin? No, I don't need Wi-Fi. I got unlimited data. Just okay. With the twin. Mm -hmm. I'm on the way to Home Depot. What is okay, this? Like, I'm going to record this and upload this to Instagram. I'm going to upload this to Instagram oh, okay. so you guys can see it on Instagram. This is my twin sister. Oh, wow, the lighting over here is dope. It's coming off. Look, see my grace? Look, just so that you guys know what I'm working with. A little closer. So, I graze here. If I darken it up a little bit. See my grace? Oh, wow. That's a whole bunch of them. It's going to take me a while to grow it back. But I'm going to grow it back. To what? My kids are with their mother. I'm with my twin, my mama, and my nephew and niece around the cut. We're gonna go get something to eat. And Aaliyah. Uh, to get something to eat. <clears throat> Being waiting on Aaliyah. This place is packed. I've never been here though. Never been here. Nope, never been here. Looks like there's a line. Trip. Do you? Yeah, for every trip. Sounds excited. This place is crazy. There's a lot of people here. You probably hear all the noise. I'm not sure if we're gonna stay here. We're looking at about a, a 
10 to 10, 15 to 20 minute wait. We'll see. There's a lot of people here. A lot of people here. So I'm not sure well, what's going to happen. A lot of people here. Why is this lady trying to get on with my shot? Excuse me. She's playing photographer. Soften your face, Leah. Look at her face. My little man, because my mom is here, and um, she's in his room in his bed. This is coming off today. I'm shaving it off because this tumor that's in here needs to come out. So they will be taking out that tumor. And they're doing it today. Isn't he adorable? Uh, Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right, so I am at my barber now. About to get my beard shaved. <laughs> I don't want to shave it. But I got to shave it. They told me I got to shave it, so I got to shave it. So I'm going to go in there and shave it now. It's pretty windy out, too. Um, you guys know I'm not excited about this haircut at all. Well, the haircut, I'm not getting. I'm just... This. I'm not getting a haircut. I'm just going to shave my beard and get a, a, a goatee. Um, yeah, it worked a while to get this. Look at this. You can see, really see the grays. Trying to get that Raz Al Ghul look with the gray strip here, gray strip there. Not sure if it's going to work out that way, but yeah, got a couple grays in my shirt. Oh, Scheduled to 1.15, they wanted me here two hours before. I'm just gonna wait. They need my insurance information, all that stuff, and then we're good to go. Okay, I am changing for the procedure now. Um, I'm not excited about this at all. I don't wanna have this procedure done, but I'm changing now. What a procedure. It's kind of awkward that let me take off my shoes first. Awkward that uh yeah, gotta get stripped completely naked so that I can get a tumor removed in my jaw. Completely naked. I don't understand why. But that's the hospital procedure. I want to know why they do that. I'm going to tell you why. Because when you're under the knife or under the anesthesia, it's about to go under the knife. You're probably looking at all your stuff. So, you guys can see this. Look 
Okay, so don't worry about looking through yet. You can't see. They get little booty socks. Yeah, that's because they be looking at your booty. That's why. And they give you this bag to put all your clothes in. size 13 so hopefully awesome what size fits all we'll see yeah, this is my leg this is my other leg all right, all right listen i'm gonna get off the camera because i want you guys looking at my stuff hold on He said, put the first one on like this. Ah. And it has my back all open. And the second one, you take off my underwear. And the second one goes on like a robe. Cold. Let me take a selfie. Post it to Facebook. All right. All done. My dignity is gone. That's perfectly okay. I'm covered in the back and the front. All right. What's that? Yeah, but the sneakers are dirty. The sneakers are dirty. All right. About to go into the pre-op, uh, the pre-operation thing now, and look, I'm in hospital garb. All right. Don't you guys want to get out? No, it's all right. Okay. Hey, so, <clears throat> three days. Oh, let me wipe this. All right, so, face is a little swollen. It is now Thursday. Surgery was on Monday. Surgery went well. Um, I've had this bandage on since Thursday. And, yeah, my voice sounds like this because they put a breathing tube down my throat during the surgery. Yeah, and since then, it felt like I have consistent phlegm. It's the worst feeling because sometimes I feel like I can't breathe. And the swelling doesn't help either. So my mother is going to help me take off the bandage. Uh, I'm going to probably see the scar for the first time with you guys. Well, I'll see it before you guys because you guys are going to see this after the fact. But, yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it. Hope I don't pass out. <laughs> no, I'll catch you. Looking at this scar. I'll look at it before you look at it. Alright. Alright, so. How was it? You gotta keep going. There's tape on it. Uh. I'll be, okay. You gotta get careful because. Yeah. The tape on it. Uh, yeah. So you can't see the scar. This doesn't come off? Oh, sorry. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. There we go. Here we go. Wow, my face is really swollen. So they have, uh, that's where they went to do the incision. Why well, they cut real low? I thought they were going to cut right under the chin. They cut really low. Yeah. Look how swollen my face is, though. Wow. You really see how, how bad the swell is? Mm. So am I. <laughs> so am I. Alright, so here we go. Wow. It is blazing hip hop and R and B out here right now. 
Wow, it is hot. My mother bought that Florida. She bought that Florida weather. Yep. Wow, it was I'm gonna hot. Leave it, hope I'll leave it right here. Yeah, she'll leave it go. right here. I should have brought some ice with me, right? Ice pack. They have ice pack in the hospital. When you get there, you can ask, you can ask for one. All right. All right? <clears throat> yeah. So you have an extra one. They should have some there. Wow, this is really swollen. And wow. it might melt quick. This heat is crazy. All right, I went over to the hospital. Wow, it is like the in the, the peak of summer right now. But I'm not complaining at all. The sun is shining. Yeah, we got time. I like to walk on this side, so I see the cars coming. Yeah, I generally don't like to go on that side because I can't see the cars yeah. behind me. So. That's a good idea. Yeah. My face is toe up. Watch. Yep, I see him. All these privileged kids who got their mommy and daddies giving them cars at the age of 16 when they first get their license. Drive like maniacs out here. Like I maniacs. When somebody went to college and they got a car. Yeah, well, I you? wasn't driving like a maniac. That's why you got a car. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't new, but you got a car. Yeah, mommy gave me my first like car. Driving like a maniac. Yeah, nah, man. Nope. I didn't like driving fast. I, I like my life. <laughs> I like my life. So, I, like I wonder how bad. Hmm. But the Dr. Lamb said she was able to keep a lot of my nerve intact. So, um, <clears throat> so although it looks like really bad and I can't move it, hopefully after the swelling goes down, I'll be able to smile like normal. But I'll have a cool scar to tell people a really big lie and a major story about. Because I could tell them, hey, where'd you get the scar from, Dre? Well. I had surgery, they took a tumor out, or it could be like, hey Trey, where'd you get the scar from? I was in this bar fight one night, you know what I'm saying? And uh, dude tried to flex on me, so I knocked him out. He got me, he cut me. That sounds much better than a hospital procedure. Got it, no ma, got yeah, it. Yeah, because I'm an independent person. I like to do things on my own. Just left the doctor's office. They um, showed me a picture, an uh, x-ray uh, of the plate. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Wait, hold on. How everything looks is really, really cool. Crazy, actually. Oh, cool. Yeah, my face is really swollen, though. So, I'm gonna go home, ice it up a little bit, uh, study. Uh, but, yeah. <laughs> Dr. Lamb said, you look good, Andre. I said, yeah, liar. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. I got to do this. You know that, right? What? I'm about to grab your, your mother. About She's going to try to grab my hand, hand while we're walking across the street. I'm about to like, okay, walk to Chris. Let me hold your hand. So this dog jumps up at everybody. So let's see if he jumps up oh, at you us. Did. you did. I showed you. I saw on the uh, video. Yeah, video. Yep. Come to place. <laughs> Hi. Video. So most dogs behave that way because dogs understand um, safety and boundaries. So, you. so dogs know that they're safe from boundaries, so they behave that way because that's their territory and they're safe. Yeah, but still on the road to recovery. I'm gonna follow you, you know where you're going. Okay. So, wow. This is bad. So I came. All right, I'm taking a nap, and I was woken up from that from somebody very special. This guy right here. He's amazing. Yeah. Okay, That's my brother's father. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
and he's also like he's my dad too. He helped raise me. He was the guy who stepped in and um, was for me there, for me growing up. Even had he's a guy I had the sex talk with. Yeah. Yeah, this face. Came from Florida. So glad that he came to see. Yeah. Alvin. <laughs> him and my book too. Captain Inman. 